Good evening, everyone. So, okay, let's uh, start today's class. Let me share the screen. So, this week uh, we will learn quite a lot of topics as well. First, we will learn about how to create a table and modify a table. Okay, so we will uh, learn a few steps there. Next, we will learn about how to create formulas. Use formulas to calculate uh, certain. Then we can use an example of calculating the monthly EMI. We can do a simple exercise. Maybe if you have taken a loan, how much you want to pay, how much interest you pay. So we can do an exercise to do a calculation. Then we will learn some important steps about how to do the calculations. Where should be the packet, all these things. And then we learn about uh, a term called cell reference. Okay, so it's quite a lot of uh, important uh, topics that we will cover today. Before I go there, uh, do you have any doubts on the previous two lessons? Because today is the uh, lesson three. The first two lessons, anybody have any doubts? Or uh, if not, then I can continue with the class. Uh, Niam, any doubts for you? No, no, sir, no, sir. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can hear yeah. Okay. How about Nuru? Any doubts? No doubts, sir. No doubts. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Any doubts for you in the previous lessons? Anything? Oh, no, sir. No. Okay. okay. Fine. Okay. If there is a case, then we will move on to today's. Uh, Silva, I think you are in trouble, right? Okay. So let me start the, today's question. Okay. So can you see my screen now, Excel? Yes, yes sir. Okay, fine. Okay, so today we will start to learn about how to create a table and then how to use formulas to calculate values and all. So the very first step is to create a table. So in the last classes, uh, we learned about how to enter the data, right? So we learned about what is a cell, what is a row. So horizontal is called the row. Each one of these is called cell. The vertical one is called column. So we learned all these things and how to enter data. We just enter data and click the tab, we move to the next step. So now this is uh, data I just entered. Okay, for just example, any column, maybe the bus route number and the number of bus in the, in the service, just for example. So how do I convert this as a table? So it's very simple. We just select all these cells and go to the styles group here, format as table. When you click this, you can see there's a lot of designs that you can choose how the table can look like. It looks, it can be up to your way of designing. You can choose any table design. Okay, it can be just like this. So you can see that once you do this, the format from here is copied and you can see there's a filter. All these are appearing here. So now these cells previously, which is like normal cells is now formatted as a table. Okay. So I show you the difference. I undo first. Okay. Now I have this. Let me just copy this on the side to show you the difference. Okay, so the same set of data I have here. Now I select this and I format as table. Okay, I format this as table. 
So you can see the difference automatically when I format, it has a filter. So this is the first thing. So this is considered now as a table. And uh, you want to insert rows. It's the same way you can right click. Insert table rows above you can have a row same way you want to have a column insert column so this is one method you can change you see here when i do this the formatting the table automatically expands so the table already has the same format like the other one and the new column also having the filter so this is part of the table you see here this is a column but this is not part of the table. But here I insert, it follows the same format as the table. So this filters are where compromised the filter. Uh, is automatically applied by the computer. Oh. Okay, so later if you want to see any data, actually you will co cover the filter later in another day. But anyway, you can just practice it. You want to have find any data, maybe I just want to find 35. It will just show you to filter. So when you put as a format as a table, automatically the computer uh, allocates the filter. Even here you can actually do, you can just select here. You go to the filter on the right. You put the filter column, it will come. It can appear. So this is possible. But the difference is, this is formatted as a table. And here it is not formatted as a table. So that's the basic difference. So now you want to expand the table. So you just click anywhere your cell, any cell in the table. You go to the right button. You want to increase on the side or you want to increase the number of rows or you want to do both. So you see now all these cells are considered as part of the table. So this is how you can modify the table. Okay, so first step you learned about how to create a table by selecting the data and clicking format as table. That's the first step to create a table. Next is to form uh, to modify the table. You can insert row or insert column or you can drag this way. Now, if I want to increase the number of column, you see. Default it comes. So you can enter different. <clears throat> Maybe you can enter route, <clears throat> start time, end time. Okay, you can ex expand like this, anything you want. So this is about modifying the table. So any doubts on this? Any doubts? Yeah, Shakil? So one more time, yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me do it. Okay. Okay, so here, I delete everything, I start over again. So I have a set of data here. So I just copy it here to show the difference. Now I want to format this as a table. So how do I do that? I select the cells. I go to the styles group. I go to the format as table and I click. When I click here, there's a lot of different uh, styles that you can choose. So whatever format you want, you can choose and click OK. These cells are now formatted as a table. Okay, it's like a table that may, maybe you make in your notebook, something like that. Now, if you want to insert a row, just click insert rows above. So a new row is inserted. If you want to insert a column, insert. Right click and insert column. Okay, so this is one method. Or you want to Make it bigger. There is another way. 
you click on the any cell inside this table you go to the bottom you see the arrow change to a like a double sided arrow you see the cursor from plus change to a double sided arrow now you can either drag it or you can go to column wise you want to add more rows you just drag below so all these cells are now part of the table you want to increase the number of columns you just drag to the right you increase the number of column but now the table size is bigger this is the table that you are creating now okay is it clear now yes sir clear sir okay so now i have created the table so the next step is i can insert a formula right so how do i create a formula let's just see okay so next is i can create some formulas for you so basically you can do a lot of uh, calculations in excel like addition subtraction multiplication division average finding the minimum there are so many factors uh, actually that you can do okay so if you see here we just focus on a few sum is uh, total adding the total finding the average count how many numbers are there maximum minimum so we have a few examples that we can try So I just take this example. So, for example, you maybe you are doing some work in a building. So you have some cost for painting, or this is the cost to do flooring, to do piping, to do electrical work. You have the cost. So now you can do the cost of all these things. Okay. So how do we do that? So we click here. and there are a few ways of doing this i will show you one by one okay so how do we do that uh, the first step is you need to put equal to okay so if you want to do any calculation you need to put the equal to so first step is you need to put the equal to and then uh, you can go to the formulas insert function then you want to sum okay you can find here you can do that then it is asking sum from where to where from here to here okay thank you okay if you give okay automatically this is added okay so let me repeat again i delete this you can go to equal to where which cell you want to answer you double click you enter equal to then go to formulas insert function and here okay you can write okay if you want to find sum you can write like this actually you can just find here so you just click the sum okay it will ask you what is the data that you need to add so you want to add these cells and we give okay the answer is given here this is one method another method is very simple you okay i do you put equal to now you know you can use the formula for addition is sum so you can just type s u automatically it will show you lot of 
formulas here. You can directly choose from here some. You double click. Once you double click, you can see here it already it automatically shows you the format of the formula. So the formula for sum is equal to sum bracket of number one, number two, number three, etc. How many numbers? So you just have to select which cells you want to add and close the bracket. Press enter. Now all these numbers are added. Okay, next is average. You want to find the average of these numbers. Same, you type equal to average. Autumn, you can see the list of all the formulas that is available. You choose average, double click. Automatically, the formula appears here and the bracket opens. Remember this thing in formula in Excel. It always starts with equal to the formula name, then the open bracket, then it follows the formula, the format, close bracket. So all formulas will be in this in this style. Okay, so average. So average is you will select again which set of data, close it, enter. Okay, I believe all of you know what is average, right? Average means you need to add all the total amount and divide it by the number of items. So that means here you have one, two, three, four items. So you need to add this and divide by the number of items. So, okay, I can cross check this divided by four. You see, this is the sum we added. I just divided this number divided by four. I can get the same number by using the average. Instead of doing it in two steps, we are doing it in one step. Average, using the average. Now, if you have a lot of data, hundreds of data, you want to count how many items are there. You cannot be one by one manually counting. So you can use the count function. So as usual, equal to count c o u or you will see the drop down menu here select count double click so it's the same thing you just have to select all the cells that you want to count and you close the bracket enter you see there are four items one two three four and you can get the count as four. Okay. Next is maximum. What is the maximum in this? So it will just tell you what is the maximum number in this group of data. You select this and close the bracket. You can see easily now since you have only four. Yeah, since you have only four uh, data, it's very easy for you. You can easily see 3,700 is the highest value. But uh, if you have hundreds of data, it will be very difficult for you, right, to find uh, what is the biggest value. So now this is the maximum value. Next is the minimum value. So you enter equal to minimum and you select and enter. So as you can see, minimum is 1567 and you can see the answer is here. Okay. So this is how you find the maximum and minimum. Okay. Next is finding the current date and time. So the formula is equal to now and you double click on this and you close it. You see here it's 2nd of April 2022 at 
2047. It's 8:47 p.m. So this is the current date and time. Okay, so now we will do the exercise one more time for this. Okay, and we will take turns to do this. So maybe Sohail, you want to start? Can you or do the sum for this item? Sohail? Sohail, can you hear me? Hello, Sohail? Yes, sir. Okay, so now I want to do the sum for purchase items. I want to find the total of these items. Can you tell me what formula we want to do, how to do? Hello, yes, sir. Yes, so now I want to do the, I want to find the sum of all these items, how much items I purchased. The total mm -hmm. cost of table, chair, computer and laptop. So can you try how to use the formula? Yes, here, so can you try? Some formula. Yes, sir. Okay. You are very busy, yeah. So please pay attention to the class. Count, sir, right? Okay. Maybe Nurul, you want to explain? Count, sir, count. Okay, some. Okay. After that, what should I do? Take the sum, sir. Okay, I double click. Next double click, double click. Then the, the data you take it. I select all the cells and I close the bracket. Okay. Enter. Very good. Okay, so can you understand now? Sir, I cannot hear properly. Just now. Can you hear me? Can Hello? others hear me properly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So next is average. Uh, Mia Shakil, you want to try? Okay. Average. Mia Shakil? Ahmad Miam, you want to try first? Hello? Looks like everybody is very busy. Miam? Mia Shakil, are you there? Mayanuddin? Hello, Mayanuddin? Can you all hear my voice? Yes, sir. I'm here, you, sir. Okay. Looks like all of our friends are very tired, I think. Yeah, I think. Maybe everybody slept, I think. Maybe I'm very boring. I think next time, next class onwards, I think we should keep all the video on. Hello. Are you guys there? 
নাইম ভাই নাইম ভাই কোথায় আছে আহমদ নাইম এভরিবডি uh atmal niyam you want to try the uh average average hello sir yes average we yeah, have first equal very good then right click right click yeah actually it's not right click so after equal to you have to type the formula average av oh. once you type you see that drop down menu oh right click cannot find is it right no right click cannot work so you just write equal to i uh, start yeah. typing average then you see here everybody is okay so after w click okay next step this break it automatic can sir this break it yeah Everest. the bracket first opening is automatic because you you click the formula right okay i go back if i just keep typing average then i have to put manually but i double click this right i select this okay when i when i select the formula here automatically the first bracket will open bracket is automatic then you just have to select the cells which cells you want you just click and drag and then you close the bracket and enter okay so this is average mayanuddin are you there mia shakil mayanuddin looks like everybody is already sleep already i think so how many people can be sorry how many people can be in the class how many people joining the class today today we have five five students okay this student three person yeah, only we there we are answer two of them not uh, i think disappear let us uh, talk to them so same for count you go to count equal to count count is used to make the number of the total okay maximum equal to okay. maximum is equal to max bracket and you select all the cells so this is called maximum minimum is equal to minimum Is it clear now? 
yes sir yes sir clear sir okay fine any doubts for anybody on this part no doubts sir before also i do it sir okay so hail uh, is it clear for you now sir the average uh, average my laptop something the not coming function this uh, what was the problem uh? okay average okay i show for you again equal to you type a v e r ever so automatically you can see here average you double click it can you see it yes okay then you just select the cells and close the bracket then select select what sir select all the cells oh okay minimum maximum count count okay then you close the bracket it will give you the count oh uh, sir yeah nia Sorry, I have to leave now. So later, I watch video. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So last break is done. Is the main level, sir? The last break attendance. Okay. I pause here. Sister. Ah. Okay, brother. So can you all on your videos? So, only three people today. Yeah, just now Niam was here and he left. Oh, who is that? He is in the work. Niam, Niam. Niam. Okay. Because of work, I think he needs to leave. So I can put the present for him, right? Yeah, just now. Yeah, he attended almost like half an hour. He attended. Okay, okay. So. Shakil, Niam Shakil was here for ten minutes, but uh, I. No, he did not connect to the voice and video, so I'm not sure. Oh, my Nudin also he is connected, but I cannot. Okay, brother, my my Nudin, can you can you speak and on your video? No response actually. Ah, uh, if no one is uh, responding, yeah, uh, we do not know who is yeah who is listening and whether they are attending or not. Yeah, there is no interaction, so I told them to on video at all times. So uh, is it happening every week? No, no, only this week. Oh, that was okay. This week I when I tried to interact, uh, was, usually my routine is okay. Oh, okay. The special is today is the before is the Ramadan, so this on the praying day. So this I maybe maybe just to go to pray. Oh, okay. Mm. There is something special, is it today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Maybe. Okay. Sorry, we are not aware of your of your day. Oh, okay. Then I can take. Uh... Okay. Oh, he's. Manu Din. Manu Din, can you hear us? You are in mute. Just a second, sir. Yeah, yes, I, I can, was can calling be. you ten minutes. Cannot hear you. Ah, uh, sir, I am busy today. Very busy. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Because we are taking virtual class. If you cannot talk, then it's very difficult for us to know whether you are listening and, uh, uh, or you are uh, not listening. So we really don't know what is happening on the other side. That's now. Uh, now the Singapore COVID teachers. Okay, so now we learnt about the formulas. Next, we will move on to how to calculate the EMI. Right, most of you must have taken loans, or uh, maybe either in Singapore or in your country. So this is a good example where you can understand how to calculate your EMI. Okay, so this table shows. Uh, 
okay okay so the first column i have the annual rate of interest okay so what is the percentage of interest second column is the number of years what is the loan period next is the number of payments so if it is 5 months is 16 months okay i will come to over there what is the loan month loan amount what is the monthly payment what is the total cost you are repayment and what is the interest you are paying okay so usually you will know this what is the interest rate you are taking and uh, what is the number of years what is the loan amount you are taking so if you are not sure sometimes you may not be very sure which loan period to take if i take for one year the interest is higher but uh, maybe whether i can afford to pay the amount or if i take for 10 years the amount seems to be very less but am i paying more or not i'm not sure so actually you can do this calculation uh, by comparing this for the same amount Okay, so later I, we can do that exercise. Now first I show you a simple calculation first. So assuming that you are taking a loan for 4% for five, five years. If you are taking for 5 years and that means you are paying every month. Right? So you see here the formula is equal to B6 into 12. Why 12? 1 year is 12 months. Correct? Right? So, number of months is 5 times 12, which is 60. So, this is the total number of months for payment. And this is the loan amount. So, now how to calculate the monthly payment? You see the formula is minus PMT, open bracket. The first thing is, okay, I type here, equal to minus PMT when I click here it automatically shows me what all the what is the order of the formula you see here rate first is the rate so what is the rate so first thing you click where is the rate next I have to put a comma because the formula shows me a comma Next is NPER, number of repayment month. So I select this one. Come on. Next is the loan amount. Okay. And this amount is high. Why? Because the interest rate for percentage is for one year. So if you want to calculate for month, you need to divide this by 12. Then you get the loan per month. How much was the monthly installment you need to pay. So now you can find easily how much you are paying in total? How much you are repaying the loan to the bank? You are borrowing 200,000 and you are now monthly paying this much amount. So if you multiply this amount by the number of months, you will find what is the total number of uh, total cost that you are paying. Okay, maybe I remove all these things. Easy for you to I show you. One by one. I delete everything. Okay, so now first I calculate equal to minus PMT bracket rate. This is for one year, so I need to divide by 12 because one month interest is how much. Next is how many months of repayment period? So it's 60 months. What is the loan amount? 200,000. Okay. I, I, 
So we are changing this to 20,000 are more practical. Okay. That means you need to pay $368 per month. So now you want to find how much you are paying cost in total to the bank. You multiply one month, you are paying this much, multiplied by 60 months. So you are paying 22,999. So you are taking a loan of you're taking a loan of 20,000, but you are repaying 22,000 to the bank. So what is the interest paid? Interest paid is what you repaid minus what is the loan amount that you took, the principal amount. So you paid a interest of 2099. Okay. So now we do a different scenario. Okay. You take a interest percentage of 3%, but the loan period is six years. Okay. Then what is the total number of uh, payments that you need to make? How to calculate the number of payments? How many months you need to pay? Anyone? Nurul? 72, sir. Yes. It's equal to 6 times 12. Enter 72. Okay. So now I assume the same amount of 20,000. Okay. So now how to do the formula? Easy. If you want the same formula to be applied, you can actually just drag. This formula is applied. Okay, you just see the amount is 303. We now make a new formula equal to minus BMT open bracket interest rate divided by 12, comma number of repayment months, comma loan amount close bracket and enter. You see 303. So instead of you make the formula like this, you can actually just drag it and you can make the formula, okay? So same way, you can actually select all these, you just drag this way, the formula is applied. This is called relative reference. It takes the reference from this formula, you see here, the formula is F6 minus D6. It takes this formula, but here it calculate for F7 minus D7, you see here? F7 minus D7. So this is called relative reference. So you see here, you take the loan for six years. If the interest rate is three, actually you are paying less interest. Lesser interest, more month is benefit for you. So maybe I just change this to 4.5. So just 0.5 percentage increase. Sometimes we think, right, only 0.5 percentage increase. One year I can pay more. You see here, you're paying $800 more, almost $750 more. Maybe you consider, maybe you're paying 8 percentage now for a period of two years. So the number of months, Sohail, you want to try? Number of months, how to calculate? So here. Yes, how sir. How can we calculate the number of months? Repayment month if the loan period is two years? 24. Yes. So it's equal to times 24. Okay, so I found, use the same amount, loan amount, 20,000. And I calculate the loan now. One month, you need to pay $900. You pay total of this much, but you are paying very less. Only you are paying interest of 1,700 in total. 
So actually you can calculate like this before you take a loan. Okay, you ask the bank to tell what are the different percentage, loan percentage and the different years. You can find what is the best plan for you. Maybe this is too difficult for you because even though the loan period is, the interest is paid is lower, 1,700, but every month you need to pay 900. Maybe it's difficult, you cannot pay. But you see, if you pay for five years at 4 percentage, is $2,000. Sometimes you think better go for longer period, six months, six years, only 0.5 percentage, what is a big difference? But actually if you see, you're paying a lot more. So maybe this is still okay for you, another $50 more. Every month I pay 368, but in the end I save about $750. So you can calculate like this to find what is the best interest uh, plan that you can take. Uh, is this interesting for you? Do you all understand? Yes, sir. Very interesting. Sir. Okay. How about Mainudin? Thing has been missing. Okay. So later you try. I will send this file. You can go and try later. Okay. You can put different amount and whatever loan you have taken. You try to practice here. It will be interesting. Okay. Next is. Before you make uh, any calculation, you need to understand some basics. When you write any formula, I think this is the basic from Max. Huh? If there is a multiplication, it is done before addition. You see here, if you write equal to plus eight into three, first it converts eight threes are 24. Then it adds, it is not eight plus four, 12 into 3, 36. Okay, so computer will do the multiplication first, then the addition. So it is written here. But if the bracket is given, 8 plus 4 into 3, then it is 12 times 3 is 36. So the bracket comes before the multiplication. Same way, division comes before subtraction. 5 by 5 is 1. 30 minus 1 is 29. But if there is a bracket, 30 minus 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. Okay, this is actually mathematics, but just for you to understand. So later, when I send the file, you try to read through to understand this. Okay. The last topic is uh, absolute reference. Okay, earlier I talked about relative reference. Relative reference is you're taking the previous cell as reference and the formula keep changing the according to the next cell. You see here, F6 minus D6, I drag, it become F7 minus D7. But relative absolute reference is you refer to one cell. For example, I want to use this. Okay. So I give you an example. Huh? Maybe some people are in safety, right? Some people in safety, some people supervisor. Maybe uh, I write here, lifting gear inspection. Okay, maybe and next is the folding. Okay, I have something like this. Maybe a few inspections and their due date. Okay, maybe the lifting gear, your annual inspection is due in 13th of May. Your scaffolding, your weekly inspection is due in, maybe I should put shorter because it is only seven days while we'll be here. So maybe I put six, four. Okay, now you can actually calculate uh, the you in. You can use formula Excel to tell you how many days are balanced to remaining to do the inspection. So how do you do that? First, you insert the today's date. So it's very simple, equal to today 
you double click and close the button. This will give you the today's date. Okay. So you put a formula very simple equal to you select the date minus usually how you do you just select this and you select this. You can get okay. But okay. You see, when I do this, the formula is not correct for the second one. Why? Because this is using relative reference. You see, the first formula is minus from J4 because the date is in J4. But when I drag for the second formula, automatically it is taking reference from J5. But J5 is empty. So when you want to take reference from only one particular cell, you have to use absolute reference. And how you can do that is by using a dollar sign in the front. So you see here, you minus this cell minus dollar J dollar four. So instead of putting J four, you put dollars J dollar four. So equal to this minus dollar sign. Press the shift button and press on top of the Number four, you can find the dollar sign, dollar J, dollar four, because this is the cell. Now you enter. So now if I drag below, the formula will automatically take a absolute reference. So everything, it will take the same cell. You can you see here, it is minusing D11, but is minusing from J4 only, not J5. This is called absolute reference. So that means this cell is fixed. You, you have like this 10 items here. The formula will only take from here. If you don't use absolute reference, when you click the formula, it will be like considering the value from here, which is not correct. So similarly, you can do a lot of uh, calculations for your inspection overdue. Okay, or maybe you have any loan repayment. You want to send money or you want to uh, you borrow money to your friend you want to collect back you can put here when you want to collect then you can calculate how many days spending you can use this formula to make a reminder for you uh, any doubts on this actually this is the birthday also can count right but sorry Birthday also can count, right? Birthday, birthday. Yes, 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 you can do. Like, okay, you can also have birthday. Maybe you can have your friend, uh, Rahman, birthday. Yeah, you are right. Very good thought. I always think about work, uh, so I didn't think about personal explanation. I think this is a very good explanation. You can think even like maybe Rahman, your friend, birthday. Uh, next birthday is... Okay, maybe his birthday is okay, 18 December. His come, upcoming birthday is 22. Okay, you can have a countdown equal to this minus dollar J dollar O. You still have 260 days. Okay, as long as you can do this. Anything you want, you can do actually. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Later you try to practice this. Okay. So today's homework. Uh, if you don't have much, then I will just go to the homework to explain. So you will have the three cells, the, the three formula. So you just go and practice this. Okay.
I will send the lesson. The last page of the lesson, you will have the homework. This lesson book, I will send to you. You can uh, learn from here. Actually, there are some additional informations also in this booklet. Actually, we are preparing a book for you. Uh, we are doing it halfway. That's why you see lesson by lesson we are doing. Uh, it's taking a lot of time for us. So every class we try to prepare the lesson for you. It's easy. You can refer to. Okay. So you can do this. And the homework is in the last page. Okay. So here is what it is given. So you, there will be three files sent. Each file, what to do is given here. So you just follow that and you do the homework. If you are not sure, please ask. Okay. So that is what I have for now.